Robbery suspects, 37-year-old Javen Irvin, 22-year-old Samantha Russell, died. The alleged gunman, Sheldon Francis, 29 of Middleton, Delaware, 86-year-old Paul Marino, and 85-year-old Lydia Marino, died after being shot. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too, Mom. Oh, good to see you. Hey, sis. Long time no see. Hey, Andy, how are you? Oh, hi, Liz. <laughs> good to see you. Oh, my Noah! You're so big! This is Liam, our general manager. He's the one who keeps this place from catching on fire and my family from going to the hospital. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Liam. I'm Alex. I just chased you around with a broomstick and knocked you on the head. You are a genius. Oh, a genius. Genius, I don't know. Uh, gifted, perhaps, but a genius. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm a little tired from last night, so I... Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Do you remember when we used to ditch them on the mountain because they were so slow? And they called ski patrol on us because they thought we were missing? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. What about the Argentina pitch? Well, could you do it? Who wants to go hunt for presents? Me! Me! Well, I wanted to keep it a surprise. You don't need to know everything, honey. Yes, I do. I thought it was a given. <laughs> come on, I'll race you there. <laughs> Brandon Bernard was convicted of kidnapping and killing youth ministers Todd and Stacy Bagley, alongside Christopher Vialva. Kenneth Chisholm was arrested last night in Walterboro. He's charged with the murders of 46-year-old Philip Miller, 52-year-old Lori Miller, and 13-year-old Vincent Miller. 18-year-old Kari Sanford was arrested and booked into the Dane County Jail in connection to the double homicide of Dr. Beth Potter and Robin Kari. All three are charged with capital murder. The Lambs, successful business owners who years ago immigrated to the U.S. with nothing, were ambushed in their garage, then tortured and murdered inside their home. They were in their 80s. They were found shot to death during a January 5th break-in at their home in Kentwood, a crime that terrified neighbors. Now, Higgins is also being charged with home invasion for that break-in and using a firearm in a felony.